video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And for today's video, I'm excited to share with you guys some super quick and super easy market plushie ideas. I'm a little sick right now, so excuse my voice, but I really wanted to start filming this video because I actually have my very first market coming up on April 27th. Today is April 12th. So I have roughly like two weeks to prepare for this market. It's actually a really cool story how I got involved with this market and why it's so last minute. So I do a lot of wholesale orders to this local shop in my town and the shop is participating in this market. And I actually had no idea that this market was a thing, but they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to table with them. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like such an honor, yes. But then I was thinking in the back of my head, like, oh my gosh, I have no stock. I have nothing prepared. I still have orders I need to fulfill, all of these things. But regardless, I said yes, because this is like a once in a lifetime. Well, maybe not once in a lifetime, but this is a good opportunity for me. Like I've never done a market and I'm really stoked because this will be my first one. So we're gonna make it work. So for this video, I'm gonna be documenting my process, what plushies I pick to make for this market and what I think will be easy enough for me to make in time. And hopefully this video will help you guys if you're in a similar situation where you need to make some plushies really quick for an upcoming market, or if you just need to get stock really quick. Hopefully the plushies that I pick will be time efficient, but then also sell really well at markets. Oh, also, I really wanted to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Like, you guys are the best. I love reading your comments and it literally brings me so much joy that you love watching my content. So thank you so much. But all right, let's get to it. Okay, so it is the next day. I actually didn't get started on any market prep yesterday. So today is the 13th and I'm gonna show you guys the first plushie that I plan on making for my market. It was really popular last year when it first released and I think it's an adorable plushie to have at markets. And I've seen a bunch of other crocheters say that they've, you know, sold this at markets and it's done really, really well. So I'm really excited to give it a try. And also this gives me an excuse finally to make it. Okay, and that pattern is this really cute leggy froggy. Like, look at him. And I've seen a lot of people like move the arms and legs so you can like cross the legs over, you can like cross the arms. So let's get making. I feel like I wanna make a few of them in this green color, so like your typical frog. And then maybe I'll make some in pink because who doesn't like a pink frog? Yes, let's go. This pattern is also no sew, so even better for market prep. You can really just like get these frogs done quick. Ooh, there is a bobble stitch involved though, and I'm just gonna say that I am not a fan of bobble stitches. I know a lot of patterns use it for like little arms or like in this case the frog's eyes, but ooh, I just am not a fan of bobble, so we'll see how this goes. I wasn't gonna film the rest of this, but like, look at this frog hanging upside down as I crochet the body. Like, it's so funny. I can confirm that this pattern is really easy. I don't know what time I started. I'll have to look back, but it is pretty quick. I think the longest part of making this frog is adding the eyes and like the blush and the smile, but everything else is super quick. So I definitely will be making more of these. I don't even need to say anything. Like, come on, how freaking cute. Oh my gosh, look, I um, I crossed his arms. He's so freaking sassy. He has a lot of attitude and he is now going to be my new best friend. Like, he is gonna chill on my desk with me and give me attitude all day and I'm here for it. Okay, I'm gonna go make a million more. Look at this rainbow froggy army I made. I thought that I wanted a theme for my market set up and I feel like rainbow is the most aesthetically pleasing. So there we go, rainbow froggies. And then I have two extra froggies over here chilling with their arms crossed and cupcake turtle that I also plan on selling at the market. Oh, and this octopi I made, well, I guess octopus cause he's singular, but yep. And then the headless turtle that I still need to finish. But how freaking cute are they? Look at them all flat. I gotta definitely have them propped up the market because this does not resonate as well as this like this is just too freaking cute i can't i would buy it immediately 
but yeah, we gotta prop these suckers up at the market. Happy Saturday, everybody. It is April 15th, and today I am going to crochet, crochet, crochet. On my agenda today, I wanna make my rainbow octopi, so one of each color of the rainbow. And then I think I'm gonna make some mini pickles because I think my emotional support pickles are really popular in my shop and people would love seeing them in person. Also, I am finally feeling better after being sick for a week. This was the first time being sick post COVID. The last time I was sick like this was probably in 2019 when I was still in college. So this really kicked my butt this week. Like I was out, like it was a struggle. So I'm glad to be finally feeling better and we're gonna have a really productive day. Keep the jumbo pickle in the background. Wait, let me go grab it. This is an order for somebody. I love that they picked out this neon green because usually I make these pickles in like a darker green, but the neon is so cute. Okay, crochet time. crocheting and I'm thinking about all of the stuff that I have to do to prepare for this market like not only do I have to make all these plushies but also I have to figure out my setup like I do not have any market prep stuff at all in terms of display like should I get a sign I need to have some stuff to put my plushies on. One year ago, I did think I was gonna do a market, so I did go out to Hobby Lobby and buy these crates. Let me go show you. So I have these two crates, which are pretty, you know, cute, aesthetically pleasing, but I'm thinking like the plushies that I'm making now, like the froggies, my octopi, my pickles, they're like all small and I wouldn't want them like tossed in a bin like this. I would want them like on display, kind of like on shelves. So I think I have to go back to Hobby Lobby and or Joann's and kind of see what kind of display stuff they have. So I'm thinking after I make this yellow octopus, I might skirt out to the craft stores and see what I can get for my setup because my mind is just racing now. I'm like, there's so much to do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So guys, this is the progress I've made so far. We got the red, the light pink, the pink, the orange, the yellow, the rainbow octopus army is coming together. Also, I totally forgot to mention, this pattern is actually my own pattern, and I have a tutorial video on my YouTube channel if you guys are interested in making your own octopus. Perfect for markets, and they're super quick. Yo, let's go, I finished my rainbow. I love how they look all stacked. This is kind of how I would want them to look like at my market, but just like on a pretty like pedestal tray thing, if that makes sense. Ooh, I kind of want to go get my froggies and line them up so everything can be all in one picture because I think it'll look really cute. Okay, let me go grab my frogs. Guys, can we just take a second to take in this scene? It kind of is bothering me that there's not another octopi on there, so maybe I'll have to make one more so I can complete this picture. But how freaking cute is this? I'm crying. We are killing it, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna go make some chicken nuggets, and then I don't know what I'm gonna make. Yeah, we'll see what I come up with. So it's about to storm out, so that's why the lighting kind of got darker, so I apologize about that. But I did decide on what I was making next. I know I said I still need to make a pickle and chicken nuggets, but I got distracted because I was like, I want to make something new. So I made, oh no, fluff. I made this mushroom. Isn't it so cute? This mushroom pattern has been on my to-do list for like a year now because I bought so many patterns over the past year that I just haven't been able to get to, but I finally got to it and I think it's so freaking cute. She's cute, right? I think it's like the perfect size too because I wanted to stick with kind of like smaller items for my market because I feel like people get turned away by like higher price points. So yeah, I think this is like quick and easy enough to whip up. I don't know if I wanna do a rainbow pattern with the mushrooms. I know I got a rainbow theme going on, but I don't know how many people would want like a purple, green, blue mushroom. But yeah, I guess I'll make a few more of these and then I'm gonna start on the mini pickles. But yay, today has been super productive. Second mushroom done. I'm starting to second guess though if these would sell because like they don't have any faces and they're not necessarily like that cutesy 
plushy look. So I think I'm gonna stop here and I'll switch over to my mini pickles. For the mini pickles, I'm gonna be using this yarn. It's Bernat Baby Velvet yarn. It's just like the regular velvet, but much thinner. Okay, I finished my little pickle. Look at her! She's so freaking cute! I honestly didn't like it with the smile because, I don't know, the smile was kind of like too much for me. I think it looks way better just like with the two eyes and the blush. So she's staying like this, and then I grabbed the jumbo size pickle just to show you how little she is. Look at that! I kind of want to put it in um, one of those plastic baskets, and I think that would be a cute little look. Wait, let me go show you. So for example, like this, just put them in the little crate. <laughs> I think that'd be really cute. Or maybe I could get like a really big glass jar and put them in the jar so it literally is like pickles in a jar. So I was supposed to be making chicken nuggets, but as I was reaching for my chicken nugget colored yarn, I saw my hot pink yarn and I made another frog. <laughs> I literally am obsessed with making these frogs, but look, now there's a Cosmo Wanda moment happening. I can't with the little arms crossed. Happy Monday, everybody. So today is April 17th, and I'm excited to show you guys what I made over the weekend. I didn't film on Sunday because I was making some orders that I had to fulfill, but I was able to make some today, and let me show you what I did. I made these adorable mini triceratops. How freaking cute are they? And I stuck with my rainbow theme, so I made one of every color of the rainbow, and they are just super adorable, all laid out like this. And you can even stack them, so let me stack them real quick. Okay, here they are stacked. Like, how freaking cute is this? Like, I feel like this will definitely get some people's attention when they walk by, so really excited to have finally made these. These have been on my list for a long time, and I've been really enjoying prepping for this market because usually I make the same old, same old, but now I actually have the freedom to make whatever I want, so it's been fun testing out these new patterns that I've been holding off on for a while. Okay, I also made two chicken nuggets, so we have them right there. And then I was playing around with displays. I put my emotional support pickle in this cute little bin and I attached his tag. Someone actually bought one of these mini pickles, so I have to make another one and put it in here, but I think just two will be cute. Maybe I'll make a larger pickle to kind of draw people in, but I feel like I'm gonna stay away from making big plushies because I don't know, I feel like whenever I go to markets, I'm not in the mentality to drop like 40 to 50 dollars on something so i've been making a lot of mini stuff but that's just me we'll see how it goes but yeah so two chicken nuggets i do want to make a little larger chicken nugget i know what i just said lol but i'm not gonna make it like crazy big maybe just like maybe a little bigger than this with my sweet snuggles yarn and i'll still keep it maybe like 20 bucks so yeah i did that and then we have my froggies I actually made these two acrylic bees like a while back and I just never did anything with them. So I placed them on my table. I'm gonna be selling them. And then I have the two mushrooms I made. And then finally, I actually made a bunch of these flower coasters a while back. I have like a whole stack of them here. And I was originally making all of these because I wanted to do a little flower garland and like use it as decor in my office. But now I'm like, ooh, let me just sell them at the market. So yeah. That's what we have so far. I'm gonna continue crocheting today. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, so stay tuned. Okay, I found the next project that I'm gonna make for my market. And I basically have just been scrolling through my library of all the patterns that I've bought in the past year and that I haven't made. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna make all these patterns. We're not gonna be wasting our money anymore. And we're finally gonna put them to use. So I will be making these. Penguins and they're stackable. I feel like I have a very clear theme going on here rainbow and minis. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. This pattern is literally a dollar. I'll link it down below. And I love making penguins. I usually make my full size ones, but I think mini would be perfect for markets because I'm not trying to price things too high. And then also, I think I'm gonna modify it a little. I'm really lazy and I don't wanna sew on all of the fins and the feet. So I'm just gonna make it like a little egg penguin that is 
feetless and finless, and I think it'll still be cute. Okay, here's a finished one! Look at him! He's just so, like, eggy and cute! I feel like it's just like a little stress ball, kind of like my Octos. He doesn't need fins or feet, right? Like, I can totally just sell him like this. So this is my blue one. I'm also making a green one and probably like pink, red, orange, yellow, the whole shabam. The only thing is you need two tones and I don't know if I have acrylic yarn that's two toned for each of those rainbow colors. So I might break the rainbow. Also, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Right now I see on my dashboard, we're at 998. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for subscribing and giving me all of the love and support. It's been so much fun so far on my YouTube journey and I can't wait to keep going and make even more videos and have even more crochet friends. Okay, just an update. I got these four penguins done. I still don't know if I should make flippers and feet, but they're so freaking cute. I added everything from today onto the table and they are freaking so cute. What up? It is voiceover Jenna, but look at this amazing display that my husband made for me after I told him I was panicked about not having cute displays. Like, it's just so, so cute, and I love how it makes the plushies look. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday, April 18th, and I made some really good progress last night. You might have seen in the clip where I was showing off my stand that my amazing husband made for me. Um, you might have seen at the top there are two super cute chubby dinosaurs. Well, I made four total and I don't know whether or not I want to make a rainbow array of them, but they are really, really cute and I feel like they will sell well. So maybe I will go ahead and make the rainbow color, but let me show you the color combinations I've made so far. Okay, first we have these two pink and blue dinosaurs with their um, back spikes kind of corresponding to the other. And it's just so freaking cute seeing them together. Also, look at that belly. Like, it is so chunky. Chunky little dinosaurs. I love how small and little these guys are. They are too cute. And they look really pretty and aesthetic next to each other. So I'm really excited to have these at my booth for my market. These honestly took me an hour, and this is a free pattern by Studio Phoebe 22. So I'll link the pattern down below in case you guys want to make one too. But yeah, these are super cute. And then look, I made these Scooby-Doo style dinos. Yeah, so I did purple and green, and then again I alternated the spike color to correspond with the other. And they're so cute! You know, these also kind of remind me of like the nerd candy. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'll put a picture here. But they, like their body with like the chunky belly and everything, it just reminds me of the nerd candy. I think I will make a red one and maybe a yellow. Yeah, I need to make red, yellow, and orange to complete my rainbow. So I do really like how my display looks so far with all of the rainbow colors. It's very aesthetic. So I guess I will make more of these dinos. They're so cute. Also, just a random realization, but I don't know about anybody else, but I have noticed that I have significantly decreased my snacking ever since I took up crochet. And the main reason is because you need both of your hands when crocheting, so you can't really multitask. Like you can multitask in the sense that you can watch a show and stuff, but that's like it. So I, I'm a big snacker, I love chips, like I will devour a whole bag of chips in one sitting easily. But with crochet, I'm like, I have to get this project done, but I wanna eat chips, but usually I just continue crocheting. So it honestly has helped with my snacking. <laughs> all of the dinos are so cute. Look at them all in a row. All right, it is Wednesday, April 19th. We're almost one week away from the market. And honestly, I did not do any market prep today. I actually got a few orders that I had to fulfill. So I was busy doing that today. I actually wanna show you one of the orders I made. It's exactly like that jumbo sunflower turtle that I made a while back, but in lavender. So yeah, let me show you guys that real quick. Look at her, she is so gorgeous. Look at this lavender colored body. I'm obsessed. 
and again, small child. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm like, should I just make a bunch of like sunflower turtles for the market? I feel like they would definitely sell. Maybe not like this big, but like smaller. I think that would be cute. But yeah, I'm feeling a little stressed just because I wasn't able to do anything today. I have to finish the rainbow dinosaur collection. And then also I need to do some more pickles and some turtles. I think I definitely want some turtles. Also, I need to freaking figure out my display. I literally just went on Amazon and I like panic bought a bunch of stuff. I bought price tags, I bought bags to put the plushies in for customers, and then I bought some like signage, but I have to reach out to the store that I'm tabling with because I do not know any of the logistics. Like, I don't know how big my table should be. I don't know how big of a space I have to work with all of that good stuff. I also have to like sign up to get a square reader. Yeah, I got a lot to do. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys yet, but I'm gonna be going home to Jersey for two weeks coming up like literally right after the craft show. So the craft show is the 27th and then I leave the 29th. So I'm really trying to fulfill all of my outstanding orders in my shop and then I'm gonna close down my shop for those two weeks take a break. I'm going to my sister's graduation and all that fun stuff. So this is like the last big push for crochet stuff. And then I can go make my wool in the gang sweater. I'm so excited. Hi friends. It is now Friday the 21st and I do not know where this week went. It completely flew by. I did not do any market prep yesterday, shocker, because I have been receiving a few orders this week that I really have just been trying to fulfill. I did wanna show you guys some of those orders because they're really cute and I haven't shown you them before, so let me show you. First order is this penguin. Now, these penguins are actually super popular in my shop. I haven't shown one on... Shay is using her little cat stand and she's clawing at it right now. Okay, there we go. Oh. But yeah, so these penguins are actually really popular in my shop. I offer blue, pink, and the regular coloring, and they just turn out so freaking cute. I love the velvet yarn for them. But yeah, this little guy is going home. And this is the other fun order I received. So those mini Triceratops did really well on my story and a lot of people hit me up. So one of my repeat customers who I love dearly, she hit me up and said that she is planning a birthday party that's gonna be dinosaur themed for her daughter in May. And she wanted 10 mini Triceratops to include as party favors. And I just think that idea is so darling. It is so sweet. So I went ahead and made all of these cuties last night they're super quick to whip up so that's good news for me and yeah i'm gonna ship them off look how aesthetically pleasing they are in the line i love the rainbow gradient so yeah those are some fun orders i wanted to show you guys i'm gonna fulfill them pack them up and then strictly focus on market prep and my stuff from amazon came in so tomorrow i'm planning on doing a mock setup and show you guys everything that i got Happy Saturday, everybody. It is literally 11 p.m. right now, and I think I've been crocheting for like 12 hours straight at this point. Long story short, I got some information about the market logistics, and it turns out I actually have a pretty big space. So the total space is 20 feet. So apparently I get a 10 foot by 10 foot space, and then my partner gets 10 foot by 10 foot. And that is like so much more space than I was expecting. Like I literally have like a four foot little table and like that's it so getting that information i'm like holy crap i am not ready at all i need more stuff so i've been crocheting away today i like made a list for myself and i feel a little better my original plan of doing just minis is kind of scratched like i scratched that i now made some jumbo turtles and yeah i'm just gonna have fun with it we'll see how it goes i went out to lowe's i got a six foot table so now i think i'm gonna do like an l shape I'll do my six foot table and then my little four foot table. It'll be great. Um, I plan on doing a mock setup tomorrow, so I'll be sure to film that. But let me show you guys what I got done today. So I mentioned before that I really wanted to do a rainbow array of these mini dinos. So I got yellow and orange done. I now just need red and the dinos will be done. This one literally reminds me of a Cheeto. And this one reminds me of the Little Mermaid. Um, I think his name's Flounder, the little fish Flounder, but yeah, super cute. Um, let me show you what else. 
So I made two jumbo turtles today. This is one of them, cotton candy themed. And this is a pretty good sized jumbo turtle. Like here's the hugging comparison. Um, I also made two of my regular sized turtles. I'll go grab it, but yeah, I made this one out of sweet snuggles. And I also made this one also out of sweet snuggles. These are actually the first turtles I made in like a regular-ish size with sweet snuggles. You know, I've just been doing those jumbo sunflower turtles and really big turtles. So this is like a more normal size. I used a 6.5 hook and yeah, this is like a classic color combo for me. This sells really well on my Etsy. So I decided to bring it to the market and let me go grab my other two. Okay, I only grabbed one, but yeah, size comparison check. So yeah, this is my velvet, my sweet snuggles. I plan on making two strawberry turtles as well since I know the strawberry look is popular. So we'll see how it does in person. And then I think I'll make one jumbo sunflower turtle. I think that'll be a good hook to get people interested in my booth and like come over when they see like that big pretty sunflower shell. And yeah, it's been, it's been a productive day. I am tired though, but I'm really excited to see how my mock setup looks. Hey guys, happy set. Oh. It's Sunday. JK, happy Sunday. Okay, it is finally the day where I am mocking up my market setup. I grab my two tables, my six foot and my four foot, and I'm gonna lay it out here in my studio and let's see how it looks so far. Keep in mind, I don't have a tablecloth yet. I am ordering that off Amazon. So I'm currently using some bed sheets on the tables just because I don't want the plushies to get dirty or anything. So don't mind the bed sheets. That is not the final look. Don't mind the headless turtle right here. I still have to finish it. But this is what I have so far. I think the setup is super cute. Hey, Callie. Yeah, I mean, I still have a bunch of things to make. So I guess I'll put it on this table, some of my other larger stuff, because I still have a few things I want to add. But yeah, I think this looks really cute and I'm really happy with it. I love the rainbow. And then I kind of left this spot blank because I'll probably be sitting here and I still need to add my signage, but yeah, super cute so far. So I just want to show you guys, I bought these mini price tags off Amazon and then I had this tagging gun um, from when I used to have my own online store. So I've just been tagging all of my products with these little tags just so People will know the prices pretty easily and yeah. So I just got done tagging everything. I'm gonna go ahead and crochet for the rest of the day. Oh, I put out the little acrylic signs. I have to make up what I want in them still, but I think I'm gonna go on Canva and do like a follow me on Instagram, YouTube kind of thing, Venmo, and I don't know what the third sign will be, but yeah. I think I'm gonna call the video here. I showed you guys kind of my process for prepping for my first market. I'm really excited for it. It is this Thursday, so it is only four days away. And I'm just so in love with my display. So yeah, I keep saying it, but I'm really excited. And I plan on doing a separate video of reviewing how the market went, what sold, what didn't, and kind of just the breakdown. So in that video, you'll see my final display and see how it all came together. But it's probably gonna look a lot like what I just showed you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me and crocheting with me. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've done a market before and if you have any advice for me going into my first market. If you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for my future videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.